Unemployment. In order to be unemployed, you must have three characteristics. The first one is able. Second one is willing. The third one is searching. So what do you mean by able? Let's assume that we have a fresh grad. Unfortunately, he had a terrible car accident. It resulted in a permanent disability in which he, can, he cannot work at all. Therefore, this young man, can we call him unemployed? No, because he is not able to work. Willing. Let's assume that someone is super rich and this person prefers to party the majority of the time rather than working. Can we call this rich person as unemployed? No, because this person is not willing to work. The same for full-time students. Let's assume that a person finished high school and then he or she decided to join uni as a full-time student and they don't work. Can we call them unemployed? Of course not. Why? Because they are not willing to work. They prefer to study for three or four years and then they get high quality of education and get a highly paid job. Third one is searching, which means if you stop searching for a job, you are not considered unemployed. For example, you graduated in 2020 where we have COVID-19, we are in a recession, it's hard to find a job. So you kept searching for a job for a month, two months, three months, you didn't find a job, you got discouraged and you stopped working. Are you considered unemployed? The answer is not. Why? Because you stopped searching. And this is usually how some countries manipulate their unemployment rate. They report a lower unemployment rate because they have the majority of the people who are looking for a job, they stop searching. That's why we call them discouraged workers. So, what are the major types of unemployment? The first one is structural unemployment. From its name, what do you mean by structural? It means that the structure of the economy changes. Therefore, some jobs become obsolete, mainly due to technology, such as a person who used to use a typewriting machine and then they invented the computer. This person lost his job. He will stay unemployed for a month, two months, a year. After one year, will he get a job? If he wait another year, will he get a job? No. He will be permanently unemployed unless he learns something new, learn a new skill, learn how to use a computer. Second type of unemployment is frictional unemployment. What do you mean by frictional unemployment? This is the time spent between jobs. For example, someone now works at a supermarket in retail shop. And at the same time, he's doing a bachelor degree in economics. Once he gets his degree in economics, what he will do? He will prefer to quit his job in retail and start searching for a job as an economist. Therefore, the time spent between these two jobs in retail and being an economist, this is called frictional unemployment. Third one is seasonal, and from its name, it depends on the season. We discover that some industries flourish in certain season and declines in other seasons. For example, ice cream during summer. The fourth type is cyclical, or we can call it demand deficient. Do you remember our business cycle? Our economy goes up and down, it improves and then deteriorates. We have good days followed by bad days. We have a growth and then we have a contraction. Therefore, during good days, we have strong demand. So people get a job. During bad days, they lose their job. Economy recovers, they get the job again. Economy deteriorates, they lose their job. So it depends on the stage of the business cycle. The fifth type is called wage-induced unemployment. And this is mainly caused because we have a high minimum wage. So from a company, wages are an expense cost of production so if cost of production will increase they will decrease their production which means they will hire less people and we have different reasons why do we have high minimum wage number one is a regulation we discover that the majority of western countries in europe in australia in the united states they have a high minimum wage therefore because of high minimum wage companies hire less people second one when we have a strong labor union so this strong labor union will claim a higher minimum wage therefore it would result in less employment and higher unemployment third one is efficiency wage theory so usually if you find a talented person and you like to attract this person to work with you you need to give them higher benefits consequently you need to give them above equilibrium wage above equilibrium salary in order to attract this talent which would result in increasing unemployment because you pay a lot as wages therefore how which types of unemployment are unavoidable or we cannot decrease them. So we discover that we cannot avoid the structure because all the time we have technology, we have innovation, we have R&D. We cannot stop frictional. We have schools, universities, training centers, 
we have boot camps so people learn a new skill and people move between jobs we cannot stop seasonal we can slow down cyclical and we can slow down or eliminate wage induced therefore since there are some types of unemployment that we couldn't avoid such as structural frictional and seasonal therefore our unemployment rate would never be zero so the lowest unemployment rate we would ever have is called natural rate of unemployment we can also call it non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment if you get the first letter of each word in Nairo. Therefore, natural rate of unemployment, we give the symbol as U star or Nairo. This is the lowest unemployment rate we could ever have in any economy, which is equal to 3 to 5%, and it differs from one country to another. Therefore, at this unemployment rate, we reach our potential output. This is our full employment output. Full employment here, it doesn't mean unemployment rate equal to zero, but it means that our unemployment rate is at its lowest at Nairo or natural rate of unemployment, or we can call it natural rate of output, which is the maximum out we could reach by utilizing all our resources in terms of labor, capital, and technology. Therefore, our unemployment will be at the lowest, which is Nairo.